What's up guys? Grim here. What's up guys? Grim here. It's time to give away the month-long patron pass that I was giving away in the last Saturday video. So if you entered your name into the comment section below in that video, then you are entered into this contest. And the winner is... Congratulations. Enjoy your month-long patron pass. The giveaway this week is five of whatever trove is active at the time of the winner announcement. Yes, that does mean that we will have five winners. If you would like to get into this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your name and server and we will choose a winner from you guys in the comment section. But you must be subscribed. You must be subscribed. And also make sure to hit the like button. It always helps. But we'll also have a sixth winner because I'm going to make a thread on the Rift forums. And what you need to do is go to the forums, leave a post under that thread, and you will be entered into the sixth Trove giveaway. So go there, support Grim, win stuff, win-win. I've got a bit of announcement. We have been told that the next Godlike Arena 3v3 tournament is going to be held on the 28th of this month. So yes, mark your calendars because yours truly is going to be hosting it and live streaming it once again. I'm sure we're going to have lots of giveaways because Godlike Awesomeness that runs the tournaments does not usually hold back. So it will be on June 28th at 6.30 p.m. server time so just look in game and switch your clock to server time and yeah you'll know exactly what time it is for it. Good luck on the giveaway guys and I hope you enjoy the video. I have to start this video off by doing thank yous to people that have been generous to me because you guys rock and I I've got to acknowledge it in a video. The first person that donated to me was Whoopi here. As you can see, he donated uh, Rex and 30 Platinum. And he also sent me a Lustrous Endurance Rune, which Endurance Runes is why I'm broke as a PvPer generally. They're the reason why I cannot ever seem to have enough money because as you can see i'm saving up money down here but it's always for runes that's the amount of money that i have on all of my characters i send it all to one character so that i can buy runes and yeah as my characters are going through pvp gear i've got to buy runes and dream orbs and all of that to stay competitive because stats do matter so what he says here is just wanted to say thanks for the guild invite and all the different videos you have put up. Been good to see you grow and glad that I am able to join you now for some fun runs. This is just a little something for you and something that you can give away and maybe get some more promotion from your YouTube page. Thanks for being great. Let's PvP soon. Absolutely whoopee and thank you for being in the guild. And this one here is from Delvin. And he writes, love your videos and helped out, help me out more than I can say on my warrior who just hit 59 on Fablight. PvP'd for my last six levels. Hope this will help a little for something. Thank you for the time and effort you put into helping others, man. And he donated a Rex. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys ever want to donate for any of the giveaways or just to me in general, my character names are in the description below. So, yeah, if you guys send me anything, I highly appreciate it. And the biggest thanks of all has to be given to an anonymous donator that donated to my PayPal link below. Somebody sent me $50. You are absolutely amazing. And anybody that's sending me real cash like that is, man, I can't thank you enough. It, it makes such a big difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's get to the real video. All right, today we're going to go over what all add-ons I use, and then we're going to go into a little bit of a detailed explanation on how I set up my K-Alerts and how I enjoy having it. And uh, people have been requesting to know my exact setup, so I'm going to give it to you guys today. 
So first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to go to curse.com and this is where you're going to download all of your add-ons and get the things that you need to have a slight advantage in some of the things in the game and yeah, help you out quite a bit. Now what you want to do is you want to go up to the top where it says client and click on client and it'll pull up this page here and you want to go ahead and download it uh, download the client this will uh, put a program onto your computer that will allow you to just uh, go on this site and click on whatever add-on and it'll automatically install it onto your game so you don't have to worry about any of the setup other than that just download the program and then we'll go from there so this is what my curse setup looks like so far these are the only add-ons I'm using which is uh, Conquest Tracker, which I don't really even care for that program. It's uh, that add-on. It's not been very good. It, it's supposed to pick up whenever somebody else in your guild is in a conquest. You can see the score and all of that and how long it's got until uh, it ends. But man, it, it rarely ever seems to work for me. So I may be uninstalling that one. Uh, the second one I have is gadgets and that's for mainly for my raid frames but it's got a lot of different uh, add-ons inside of it so to say that is really good so it's one of my main add-ons and I make sure that I have it uh, then K alerts which is called K rule alert and I'll have in the description below all of my add-ons so that you can look them up individually if you want to download them but yeah, K-Alerts is very, very important to my PvPing so that I can keep track of things. And makes it a little bit easier to play different classes and different specs and all of that. The other one, uh, another one that I have is Montage's Killing Blow Indicator. And that is the one that makes it pop up at the top of my screen. The uh, you, uh, you have killed so-and-so that you guys see in all of my videos. So... I love having that pop up so I can see whenever I get the kill and blow which is part of the fun for me. And then the last one that I have is kind of a newer one that I've been playing with. It's called Rolls and it allows me to switch between particular roles uh, like if I'm on my warrior I can just click on this add on and it'll uh, switch between take for instance my warlord paladin go into my 61 paragon and then switch into a tempest or whatever so it'll set it'll change uh, my spec my uh, my uh, K alerts it'll change anything that I want it to so uh, including wardrobe so very good, very good add-on. Now with this curse client, what you want to do is you want to go up to the top left corner up here to where it says My Games and make sure that Rift is the game that is selected there. I'm sure that you can go through the options and uh, add more games. Yeah, add a game right there under the tools. So if Rift is not listed there, make sure that you add it. You may have to look for your rift.exe file or something like that or else just the folder that holds that file. So make sure that you download that and this is where you'll be downloading all of your add-ons. You can uh, just uh, select your rift and then go to get more add-ons and then you can go over to the top right where it has a search bar here and just look up each individual add-on so that you can download it onto your rift game so if i wanted to look up uh take for instance k rule alerts see right off the bat i typed it in there and it pops up k rule alert and then i could just click on install if i didn't have it so that's the curse client. Let's go ahead and move on to the in-game setup. All right, guys, here we are at the in-game setup, and let's go ahead and jump into all this. Okay, let me see here. This right here, this little anchor icon that you see me moving beside my character right now, this is what uh, controls my uh, gadget add-on. So if I go ahead and right-click it, It'll pop up, add gadget, unlock gadgets, settings, uh, and import layout. So let's go ahead and click on add gadgets. So as you can see, the it'll have a wide variety of things that you can use here. I 
in particular I like to use the uh, raid frames right here so if you highlight the raid frames and then go ahead and click create what it'll do is it'll pop up these raid frames such as uh, let me let me go ahead and shut this down and show you right here you see me moving around my raid frames here that is easy way to heal and stuff like that and also keep track of health bars without a lot of the text and all that getting in the what in the way so this is really helpful and you can make it as big or as small as you want uh, just do whatever you like with it but uh, it's a real easy way to heal in particular because it will uh, turn a person's health bar into purple if they need to be cleansed or anything like that and it'll help out a lot trust me Something else I like to have through Gadget is the Reload UI here and that allows me to have this little button down here if you look at the bottom right of my screen you'll see my conquest tracker and then right above it is the Reload UI and that'll give me a button to where I can just click it and it'll reload my entire UI if anything starts bugging out or uh, sometimes uh, the Gadget raid frames will have my name in there twice and all you have to do is click that reload button and it'll fix it right up for you. But Gadget has a ton of add-ons in here, so just use whichever ones you like. I showed you the two that I like in particular, but that's all I use. Another add-on that I use is Montage's Killing Blow. And uh, if you can see the little skull that's moving around right beside my character, this is what controls that. And all of these little icons pop up once you have it installed. So you just need to look around on your screen and see exactly where they are. And you can move them around with uh, either holding down like shift and clicking on it and then dragging. Or else on this particular one I have to hold down the right mouse button in order to move it. So let's go ahead and click that. And as you can see it pops up this entire setup and it'll allow you to uh, have it pop up whenever a killing blow happens or else you can even have it pop up whenever you save somebody if you're a healer and what I did with my setup is I like to have it to where it doesn't show the additional text underneath uh, I want it to not show up as I want it to show up as little as possible, so I say. So what I have it at is the you have killed. I have it in a green color so it kind of jumps out. And then the red is in uh, the person's name and server. But below it, it also shows uh, the experience you get, the uh, like PA experience, also favor and prestige. I have all of those turned to white and as small as possible because I'd rather them just not be there and I haven't figured out how to make them disappear altogether. So if you go here and you go to a particular part of the display, such as this is the main display here and I have it set on these colors, uh, you can also go to just the name part of it, uh, what color you want it or whatever. Uh, but take for instance whenever you go down into something that I'm not wanting displayed such as favor uh, I have it set at as small as possible and then all the colors turn down to the bottom to where it turns white and it won't really show up on the screen too much and then once you've had all that set up all you have to do is click on move and it'll allow you to move it around on your screen wherever you feel like having it displayed at all right, let's get into the K alert setup and how you launch this menu is you type forward slash K alert. And if you look at the description on the curse page for K alert, then you'll see the actual commands and everything below all these add ons. So it'll allow you to manipulate them how you want just by slash commands a lot of the time. But this, how you get this menu up is you just type forward slash K alert and yeah, you get right into the editing. So I have this set up to display several things for me. Well, a couple of things, should I say. Uh, what I have it do is I have it set up to where it keeps track of my surges whenever I'm running Warlord spec. So take for instance with uh, the battle surge and all that, it'll pop up below my character's feet whenever I want to uh, keep track of a particular surge. 
So once I put Battle Surge up, it'll pop up below my character's feet. Uh, let's go ahead and click on one so you can see. As you can see, I clicked on one of the surges and it pops up right below my character and it's counting down the amount of time left on that particular surge. Another thing I have it keeping track of is my buffs because there's a lot of buff stripping that goes on whenever you're PvPing and you don't want to be running around missing critical buffs. So I have it, if you can see above my head there, it has all the buffs above my uh, above my bar, of my uh, text box, and it shows what all buffs that I'm missing right there. So the ones that I haven't put on yet will display right there, and anytime somebody strips one of my buffs, it'll pop up immediately and let me know what I'm missing. Let's go ahead and jump in and make a buff uh, display so that you guys can see exactly how it's done. So let's go ahead and type right here as you can see underneath where it says buff, ability, resource, casting. So we'll go ahead and keep track of our forced march, let's say. So we type in forced and right there you see it pops up forced march. So we'll go ahead and double click on the name right there and it'll go ahead and pop up the default icon. You can change the icon but I like to just keep it the way it is. So all right it has it to where it'll track on the player that that's us if you want if you're wanting to keep track of a debuff or something that you're putting on somebody else you go ahead and click on the target button there uh, and uh, let's see here we got it to where we're going to keep track of it once it's active you can put uh, click on missing and what it'll do is it'll track it whenever that buff is not up. So that's good to keep up with your buffs that you want up at all times. You want to go ahead and click on missing. So once they become missing, they'll pop up at the top of uh, your chat box or wherever you put it, much like I have it. So this one, we're just wanting to keep track of it being active. So we'll go ahead and click on active, which it's already clicked. Well, we want to also keep track of how long it's going to last. So we go all the way over to the right over here to where it shows a timer click box. We'll go ahead and click on that timer button right there. And it'll pop up a bunch of stuff, but we don't really need to keep track of that too much. We just want to uh, have the timer displayed. So let's go ahead and click on save. And that went ahead and kit, put forced march on our menu over here. And this is on set one. So what it is is it's the K alert set up for this particular uh, spec that I've got. And you can change sets and everything up at the top left of the K alert system there. I almost forgot we've got to uh, move it around on the screen so you can see exactly where it's going to display. So we're going to go ahead and click on edit layout. And as you can see, it makes that K alert pop up at the top left of my screen. You see it uh, just above my character portrait up there at the top left. So we're going to go ahead and drag it down. And where we're going to drag it down is we're going to put it on the right of my character over here. So we'll put it right there and click on save. And then we'll go ahead and close this down. And as you can see, it went away. So now we're going to see how it works. So we're running around and we're going ahead and pop up Force March. You see right there, it's counting down how much time is left on this particular buff. So we can run around for seven more seconds, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that's how I keep track of my surges. So you can do the exact same setup to keep uh, track of your battle surge and tactical surge if you're using all the warlord stuff or whatever buff that you have going that you want to keep track of. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps out you guys that are struggling with the K alert setups and all that. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps you out a lot. And remember, if you're ever thinking of donating anything for giveaways or to me in particular, all the links are in the description below. You can see all my characters if you want to send something to me or if you're that generous, you want to actually send me money, there is a PayPal link down there. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. My channel is growing tremendously because of all of you. And there's a lot of people that have been giving up Rift lately, uh, going to other games and uh, not making Rift content anymore, which I completely understand where they're coming from if they have other interests or feel like another game would be 
uh, a little more beneficial for their channel or something like that. I completely understand. But just know, Grim is here to stay, guys. And I will see you next time in Rift.